The rig will operate, I think they say basically 250 gallons a minute is about all you can operate this system with. So, you know, if you've got limited water availability, there is some real advantages. Uh, and then the fact you can, you know, if you can plant it, you can water it, you odd shaped fields and so forth. Uh, the challenge I think we have with this rig in where we're at, which is Illinois or Wisconsin, is you guys back there, you're always 10 days away from a drought, but it seems like it always rains about every seven days. Well, we're not that lucky here. So I think back there, they use this as a supplement, you know, for that 10 day period or two week period where it didn't rain that you can do. Well, I need to use this basically all season to get it watered. So, you know, there's some concerns about, can you cover the territory you need to cover and get the water applied? Uh, so, you know, we're, we're still trying to figure that one out, get, get some of the bugs out, but I think the concept makes, makes a lot of sense. So, um, but yeah, there's been a number of issues. Uh, uh, you know, we, we had the hose break apart once or twice, uh, well didn't hold. Uh, right now I'm having a problem with an engine that doesn't want to run, it surges all the time and they're trying to figure out what's going on with that one. So it's not without its challenges. And can you kind of explain how it works? I know I've read about it, but uh... well, you got a you got a 26 horsepower diesel engine on the front, which is basically running a generator because the wheel drives are electric. It does have a little bit of a hydraulic deal because of the steering mechanism and some of the stuff up on the on the back in terms of uh, opening up and closing uh, certain uh, lines, but. Uh, uh, you know, it moves through the field, and as it moves through the field, it will uncoil the hose, which is hooked up to the pumping unit. And as it goes forward, the outside three drops on both sides will drop water. When it gets to the end of the field, it will back up, following the same place it w you know went forward, and then the three inside or the the six inside drops will drop water and the concept with that one is that way the tires will stay on dry ground because when you fill that thing full of water with 3,000 foot of three inch hose it weighs a lot and it will track up it'll make ruts now it won't get stuck i've never got it, but it'll make ruts well the problem with ruts is when it comes back the next time those ruts aren't straight in terms of the guidance system, and so it messes the guidance system up and it shuts everything off. So uh, it is not a mud machine. You don't want to run it in the mud. But, but yeah, uh, as it goes one way, it rolls out the hose. When it comes back, it rolls the hose up. It does not drag the hose. It, it lays it out and picks it up at the same time. Um, the other thing that I think is uh, of real interest um, that I see a real application is uh, in the livestock industry. Uh, dairies and hog operations that have lagoons that need to be uh, dewatered during the season. Um, this, this would work very well for, for that situation because you don't, you don't have any little nozzles, little emitters to, to worry about plugging up. It's uh, pretty well an open flow system. So uh, a lot of application in, in the livestock industry. You used the plus nutrients too? Uh, we applied uh, nitrogen last year, some uh, ATS. Um, yeah, we'll apply uh, a number of different options. I, you know, in fact, I, I see no reason why we can't apply 1034 uh, even with our water because there's nothing that's going to plug up. So we're gonna we're gonna try that this year. Last year was just trying to how do you make the machine work and you know how does this all happen? Uh, <coughs> and then it's also on. Uh, there's an application, you know, I can manage this uh, from wherever I'm at. Uh, I, don't, I don't have to even be in the state and we can start it up and stop it and, uh, or Ryan. And it's got, you know, the, the tram lines laid out for it to, to follow. So um, when it works, it's great, but we're, there, there have been a few complications. But yeah, that's, that's pretty expected, you know, with expected. new technology, but you're pretty encouraged what this can do for your efficiency. Right, right, again, for, for developing a water permit now, I, I talked about previously having two of the most senior water, four senior water rights in the county, in the area. Uh, this water right here is a very junior water right. 
because we're just, in fact, I'm in the process of trying to get it perfected. So I got to apply water. That's the interesting thing from the state is they want you to conserve water, but you got a five-year period to perfect it. And they'll only give you the amount of water that you apply during that five-year period, the maximum you apply. So there's no incentive to conserve water during the perfection period. You want to use everything you can up to the application amount, your approved amount. Otherwise, you'll be shortchanged when it gets uh, perfected. So we're we're going to work on trying to get a bunch of water through the system uh, for a perfection standpoint. 